you've probably heard countless times that your thoughts are powerful, that your thoughts create and shape your reality, that your thoughts are like the foundation, the Lego brick that create your life. But the question is really, if you really believe that, if you really think that this is the case and that your thoughts are that powerful, the real question is, what have you done about it? Because if you do agree that your life is shaped by the way you feel and that if you were able to change your thoughts, you will be able to create a massive drastic difference in your life, in your result, in your confidence, in your well-being, in your abundance, in your love affairs and everything else. Then the question is, what have you done with it? And this is where the challenge begins, because to control your thoughts, to self-regulate your thoughts, to change all those negative limiting thoughts that we have, that too often we're not even aware of, can be extremely challenging. And it's challenging because often for a lot of people, they are plagued by a lot of negative limiting thoughts that have a lot of momentum, meaning they've been thinking this way for years or decades sometimes, meaning there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of unconsciousness, and there's a lot of momentum. And so probably you've been in experiences sometimes when you start to think negative, and before you know it, you don't even want to change your, your thoughts. Your willpower is completely crushed in a moment. You go into this victim mode where you are okay in just being there, thinking that way, and staying in that place. And when we get in those places, we lose the willpower, the energy, or that, you know, that moment of being like, you know what, I am in control and not those thoughts, not those programs that are simply running. So really, what we have to learn is two things. And this is the purpose of this video, is to tell you how to better communicate with your subconscious mind by one, creating more self-awareness and two, creating that self-regulation, challenging, breaking, replacing those limiting thoughts in order to start creating new patterns, new results, new manifestations in your life. And so this is really a process where you have to reclaim the power because if you keep on thinking, well, my thoughts are this, and if you keep on identifying with all those thoughts, you become the content of those thoughts meaning your subconscious mind is listening, having all those thoughts, even generating all those thoughts, because then it becomes that loop, right? And so how could your life be any difference? How could you feel any more happy, any more loving, any more confident, where you are allowing yourself to have all those self-loading, limiting, destructive thoughts that are habitually consuming you? So as long as you identify with those thoughts and you don't find space between the thoughts and yourself is when you're going to continue to remain unconscious, powerless to it. So the, really, the key here is self-awareness. And one way to really grow your self-awareness, and I've made videos about this in the past, is meditation. Or for some people, writing, as in like journaling, right? Personally, meditating has had a massive phenomenal shift in my life because it has given me the power to detach, the power to observe, the power to just notice what happens in my mind and to notice when you are identified, when you are in the thoughts so much that you don't even realize you're thinking all that crap and to be able to detach and let go of the thoughts and go to a new thought. So that process of self awareness of being able to notice first what is happening in my consciousness and to detach to observe it and to be able to just see it as a thought a thought that is no longer true that perhaps was never true and to be able to release it is where you get that power back and this can only be learned to either meditation to scripting to writing or any other shape or form that works for you but you gotta start paying attention somehow to what is happening in your mind because when you go through life on autopilot you're working you're driving you're doing chores you're cooking you're doing all those things your mind is never silent you might not be aware of all the things that are happening but there's always some disc some story something's playing in the back of your mind so start to pay attention in your day-to-day -day life what is going on 
What are the thoughts that are limiting me? What are the most negative thoughts that I have most often? The one that limits me the most? I'll give you an example. Maybe you go to the supermarket and instantly everything is too expensive. I don't have the money. I wish I could buy that. And you go into that spiral of just having limiting thought regarding to money or to wealth. That's one story perhaps. Or maybe it's dating, right? You, you, you're looking for that special partner in your life, but there's nobody out there. I've tried. I've been on those things. This, I just keep on attracting weirdo. Nobody likes me. Nobody. And you go into that story. So as you start to pay attention to the story that dictates your life, that creates your result, that contributes to why you're stuck or why you're stagnating in some areas of your life, you have to realize that as long as you allow those thoughts to keep playing, your subconscious mind is going to keep acting on those thoughts because it's like a blueprint and your subconscious mind is like a 3D printer. So the thought goes in, it's like the program, the code that the, the, the IT guy is writing, right? That creates the app and then boom, the subconscious mind just execute, creates the result and you live with it. You start to see it in your reality. So if your thought creates your reality before you get that guy, before you get that money, before you get that thing, your thought must start to reflect the change, right? It's not when something change, then I'm gonna conveniently change the way I think. It's like when I get the lottery, oh, then I start thinking I'm rich, right? That's not how it works. So you're gonna need to start changing that in order for you to start feeling the change and seeing and creating the change all around you. And this is really about self-control. So stage one is the awareness, you become aware of it. Stage two is that we have to take the wheel back. You gotta ask yourself, who's driving the bus? If your life is like somebody is driving the bus, taking you places, who's driving the bus? Where are you sitting in that bus? Are you way out at the back, completely checked out and just looking at what's happening? Or are you driving the freaking bus? and getting out of that freaking highway and going back to another place. You gotta take that control. And so how do you do that practically? Here's a question that I absolutely love and it's a simple question. When you start to notice the story, you can pause. And how I do that is I tell myself, stop, stop, stop in, in my mind, right? In, in, in my own thought with a very strong stop, stop, stop. I interrupt the story. Then you can ask yourself that powerful question. Is this true? Is this story, this thought, this limitation that I've been telling myself, is it absolutely 100% true? And in 99% of the time, you'll see that the answer is straight away, no, it's not. It's a perception, it's subjective, it's something I chose, but is it really the truth? No. Then the next question is, well, if it's not the truth, is it worth believing? And finally, you can move to another question, which will start to open up possibility. Well, if it's not the truth, then what is the truth? What else could this mean? And then you can see how you're progressively interrupting, challenging the thoughts and redirecting the thought energy. And so here's the thing. When you do that, I'm gonna give you the example now. Let's say we talked uh, earlier about the money example. You go to the same supermarket, you see the same product with the same prices. Instead of going back to the default, you interrupt it. You're being, no, 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 no. I am not going to label everything expensive. I'm not going to label myself broke. I'm never gonna make it again. I'm going to start thinking something better. That's really what we're doing. So, okay, the price is what it is. I am an abundant being. I can create more money. I can generate more money. I can create money making ideas. I can find ways to make this happen in my life. Let's go to the dating, right? Instead of complaining that there's nobody out there, that you tried everything, that it doesn't work, that you only bring the weird people in your life, stop. Start telling yourself, I attract amazing people in my life. I am going to find the perfect person for me. In fact, I absolutely believe that. And it's so easy because I keep on attracting amazing people in my life. So those are two examples. Now, you may be like, well, okay, it's like wishful thinking, okay? What is this really gonna make a difference in my life? And this is the, the thought, the tricky thought that your mind is going to trick you with. Because here is the thing, 
those true news stories that you're telling yourself are doing the opposite of what the old story was doing. The new story is opening up possibilities in your reality for creating what you want, whereas the old story was only closing out, shutting off, and limiting yourself in that area. So as you start to feed yourself those new stories, as you start to break and shake and remove those old limiting patterns, your subconscious mind is listening, your subconscious mind is always paying attention to what you hold unconscious in your mind, and is going to start acting on it. And so the blueprint, the code in the matrix is starting to change. And if you keep that up, and if you start to become more and more aware of the old thoughts, the old program, the old belief that you've been projecting on everything, labeling everything, life and yourself, and you break it down and you break it down and you break it down and you keep regulating those thoughts, the program will look so completely different that your reality will start to look completely different as well because you've changed. What you've been sending out to the 3D printer will start to become the new normal program. And what will come out printed out in your reality after the delay, after everything is being synced up, if you want, will start to reflect that. And this is why changing those thoughts, one story at a time, one limitation at a time, one, one thought at a time, has a massive importance. You are just one thought away from starting to create more magic, more blessing, more abundance, more love in your life. But as long as you think it's not possible, I don't deserve it. It's never going to happen for me because of this, 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 and that. You are going to keep on living that. So the choice is yours. And this is where you need to learn that self-awareness, claiming your power back, stop identifying with the old thought and start self-regulating, changing those old thoughts with new thoughts that create and reflect what you want to see in your life done let me know what you think down in the comment guys as always thank you for watching this video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this type of videos i'll see you next time be well